Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We well, thank God. I have a memo here from the executive secretary to resident pastor, Winners Chapel International, Maryland, USA. Subject, introducing your new pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. New dawn greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In line with the pastoral transfer policy of the commission, which has been the practice over the years, and upon the approval of the apostle over this commission, Bishop David O. Oyedepo, I am pleased to introduce to you Pastor Isaac Oyedepo, your new resident pastor. He will also serve as the national pastor for North and South America as entrenched in the structure of the church. Pastor Isaac Oyedepo was enlisted as a full-time pastor in this commission in 2007 and has since served in various capacities in both home and foreign missions, including regional pastor South Africa and his last posting being Lokogoma Abuja, where he served as the resident pastor. We should all look forward to having an empowering and impactful time with him here in America. May everyone's new dumb prophetic package ordained for this year be fully delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Best regards, Jesus is Lord. At this juncture, I will have the honor to invite the outgoing resident pastor, Pastor Chibuke Nwafo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, you may be seated in God's presence. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 115, from verse 1 down to 3, the Bible says, Not unto us, O God, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. For thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Now verse 2 says, Wherefore should the hidden say, Where is now their God? And verse 3, the Bible says, But our God is in the heavens. He has done whatsoever he had pleased. With a deep sense of gratitude, Evangeline and I are grateful to God for this undeserved privilege. We are also grateful to the leadership of this great commission. We appreciate the president, Dr. David Oyedekbo, and his wife, the first vice president, Bishop David Abuya, and his wife, for the confidence reposed in us to serve in this capacity for two years and three weeks. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We thank our pastors, members of the boards and councils, unit heads and their respective members. May the Lord reward you abundantly. Amen. We appreciate you as a church for your acceptance, love and passion for God and his kingdom. It's mind-blowing. God used you to make our assignment smooth, pleasant, and stress-free. Many of you have summarized our tenure as two years of peace, progress, and prosperity. Yeah. And I respond, <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. And I respond by saying, this is the prince of peace at work. To him alone be all the glory. Yeah. And the good news is, the next time I will meet you, I will meet you doing big things for God. Yeah. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, change is a scriptural reflection of growth. It is designed by God to move us to the next phase of his plan for our lives. God, by the hand of Moses, brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And by the hand of Joshua, God took them into the promised land. Jesus, we know, paid the price for our sins. The Holy Ghost was sent as well to restore God's glory to our lives. Our pastor is a seasoned man of God. We have worked on the same mission field in South Africa for two years. I can tell you that I know him personally. His tenure can best be likened to a shift from analog age to digital age. <laughs> Amen. The change you'll be seeing in this church shall be sporadic, Amen. spontaneous, Amen. and cataclysmic. Amen. You are in for the best of time. Amen. He's here with his wife and four children for this special assignment. On this note this morning, Join me as we welcome to the podium our national pastor and his wife, Pastor Isaac Oyedepo. Church celebrate this anointed vessel. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Praise the Lord. We shall be praying for him very quickly. We'll pray for him and his wife for the wisdom of God to rest upon them. Yes, sir. sir, please, could you just go on your knees as the church of Jesus prays for you this morning. Yes, now, be asking the Lord to release his wisdom upon him. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom with all thy getting, get understanding. Shall we stretch our hands towards them from the depth of our heart? Let us speak to the Lord concerning them. Let your wisdom rest upon them for this assignment. Let your grace that makes the journey stress-free rest upon them. Let your anointing come upon them afresh. The anointing for this phase of the assignment. The anointing for this phase of the task. Lord, you have helped me in diverse locations where it's been. Let this location not be an exception. We thank you. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your name forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you again. We connect to the grace at work in this great commission. Lord, you've been helping him before now. The same way you've been helping our father. This location shall be the latest news in town. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious father. In Jesus' precious name. Please rise to your feet. Now, I welcome our new pastor. Let's give the Lord a big hand up, please. Man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise God. Well, let's invite um, the wife of Pastor Nwafo as we pray for them. Praise the Lord. Please stretch forth your hands as well. I'm sure we've had a great time over two years and three weeks. Awesome time right here in Maryland and of course in North and South America. Please, will you stretch forth your hands? The best gift you can give them is your prayer. Please stretch forth your hands and bless them. Bless them from the depth of your heart. Bless them with all of your being. He that has watered must also be watered back. A lot of spiritual seeds have been sown. The word has caught fire in your bones. Peace has been restored. Give God praise. Father, we bless them. Their going is blessed. The work of their hands, blessed. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, on this great day, 
that you have made. We thank you for the last two years and three weeks. You have been faithful. You have brought stability. You have restored unity. Most of all, the people have grown. We thank you, Father. As our going resident pastor moves on to his next assignment, let the fire never go down. Because the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. May his next assignment be greater. May he never stop reaping the rewards of this assignment. He has blessed us spiritually, materially, in all areas. Bless him in return. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Somebody will shout aloud, Amen. Amen.